Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to look at a very interesting question asked in the general aptitude section in gate 2022. That is the question of the overlapping of the hands of a clock. This question is very very good and it would have been great if the correct answer was given to us in any of the options. Right? So let us solve this question, find out the correct answer and then decide whether it should be challenged, it should not be challenged and so on. What does the question say? In a 12 hour clock that runs correctly, how many times do the second minute and hour hand of a clock coincide in a 12 hour duration from 3 p.m. in a day to 3 a.m. the next day? Right. So why is this question so interesting? It's interesting because we have the second hand in picture. Generally in the last few years in major aptitude tests, second hand is not asked. We generally look at only the minute hand and only the hour hand. Right. So we are interested in when the minute hand and hour hand are overlapping, when they are 90 degrees apart, when they are 180 degree apart and so on. That's generally the type of question asked. But in this exam, by including the second hand, IIT Kharagpur has definitely taken the question to a next level. So let's go about solving this question. Suppose the second hand was not given. If we just have to look at the minute and an hour hand, and I think everybody knows that in a 12 hour duration, they are going to meet 11 times. If you have enrolled for our course, then you would have been able to solve this question in seconds. If the second hand was not there, that the answer is going to be 11 times, right? Between every hour, the minute hand and hour hand meet once. That means from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, they meet once. From 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, they meet once. 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, they meet once and so on. But from the time of 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock, the hour hand and minute hand are meeting only once. That is at 12 o'clock, right? So in a 12 hour cycle, minute hand and hour hand of a clock coincide, overlap each other, meet each other for 11 times. Okay, if second hand would not have been there, then you would have directly gone and marked option B as the correct answer that is 11 times. But second hand is there in the question. So if second hand is there in the question, we have to consider second hand in the answer also. We have to consider second hand in the solution also. If it's there in the question, we have to account for it. Let's see how. So how are questions of clock solved? Questions of clocks are nothing but Questions of two bodies in circular motion in the same direction. So if you look at hour hand and minute hand only, that's how we solve. That's how we arrive at that 11 also. That you have two bodies moving in circular track in the same direction. If I have to consider second hand also, then it is going to be equivalent to three bodies moving in a circular track in the same direction, right? That's all we need to actually look at questions of clocks as. So if your concept of circular tracks is clear, then you would have been able to solve this question, right? So if you know how to solve questions of circular track, bodies moving in a circular track in the same direction, then you know what your approach should be. What do we do? We first need to find out the speeds of the individual body, right? So let's look at the speed of the second hand. Speed of second hand. How do we find out speed of the hand of a clock? How do we find out speed of a hand of a clock? What is the distance that it is covering? The distance it is covering is being measured in terms of degree. So the total distance you have to cover is nothing but 360 degree. In how many minutes are you covering this 360 degree? In how many minutes are you covering this 360 degree? So think about the second hand. The second hand is going to cover this entire 360 degree in how many minutes? In one minute. In one minute, the second hand covers 360 degree. So the speed of the second hand is nothing but 360 degree per minute. Similarly, if you look at the speed of the minute hand, speed of the minute hand, this minute hand again has to cover this 360 degree. But in how many minutes? In how many minutes is the minute hand covering 360 degree? 
in one hour that is in 60 minutes so in 60 minutes the minute hand covers 360 degree so its speed is nothing but 6 degree per minute similarly if i consider the speed of the hour hand speed of the hour hand what will be the speed of the hour hand think about it 360 degree the hour hand covers in how much time our hand is going to cover 360 degree in 12 hours in 12 hours the hour hand covers 360 degree right think about it from 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock the hour hand is moving so how many hours is it it's 12 hours 12 hours is nothing but 720 minutes so this is going to be the speed if I simplify this, I will be getting half degree per minute, right? So, if we want to consider the circular motion of three bodies in the same direction, I first need to find out the speeds of the individual bodies. So, speed of the second hand is nothing but 360 degree per minute because the second hand covers 360 degree in one minute every minute if i think about the speed of the minute hand minute hand is going to cover that 360 degree in one hour that is 60 minutes so the speed of the second hand of the minute hand is six degrees per minute and if we look at the speed of the hour hand the hour hand covers that entire 360 degree in 12 hour cycle 12 hours in minutes is 720 and that gives me half degree per minute so now that I have the speeds of the bodies, how do I find out the time in which they are going to meet each other or the time in which they are going to overlap, the time in which they are going to coincide. If we have just two bodies, for example, if I just look at the minute hand and hour hand, if we have two bodies, the way to do that is find out the relative speed, right? And then we have the distance and the time is going to be given by that distance divided by the relative speed right that's how we do it so relative speed here would have been two bodies in the same direction so six minus half that is five and a half degrees per minute or i can write this as 11 by two degrees per minute and the distance of course is 360 degree that's what we are considering 360 degree and the time would have been 360 degree divided by this 11 by two right so this would have been 720 by 11 minutes if you simplify the 720 by 11 you will get 65 5 by 11 minutes right so every 65 5 by 11 minutes the hour and the minute hand are going to be meeting that's what we can conclude from this entire calculation so if we have two bodies if we have just two bodies then this is what we do we find out the relative speed we have the distance the time is distance by relative speed so every 65 5 by 11 minutes they are going to be meeting but when we have three bodies in picture what do we have to do we have to consider any two at a time and then find out the lcm any two at a time and then find out the LCM, right? So let's do that. So looking at the second hand and the minute hand, right? Looking at the second and the minute hand. The relative speed is going to be nothing but 360 minus a 6, which is 354 degrees per minute. And the distance, of course, is 360 degree. So the time is going to be 360 upon 354. If I simplify this, I will be getting, this is uh, 60, 59. So 60 upon 59 minutes. Okay. So every 60 upon 59 minutes, second hand and minute hand are going to meet. Similarly, I'm going to look at second hand and hour hand second and hour hand the relative speed is going to be 360 minus a half which is nothing but 719 right 360 into 2 is 720 minus 1 719 by 2 and the distance is 360 degree so the time is nothing but 360 divided by the 719 by 2 which is 720 by 719 minutes can i further simplify 720 by 719 
No, 719 is a prime number. So this is where we stop our calculations. So second hand and minute hand are going to meet every 60 by 59 minutes. Second hand and hour hand are going to meet every 720 by 719 minutes. How do I find out when all three are meeting? I have to take the LCM of 60 by 59 and 720 by 719. So LCM of 60 by 59 divided by 720 by 719. 19. Can you see why this question is so interesting? How do I find out LCM of fractions? LCM of the numerator divided by the HCF of the denominators. That's how we find out LCM. So the LCM of 60 and 720 is 720 itself and the HCF of 59 and 719 both of them are prime numbers. So the HCF is 1. And the final answer that we get is 720 minutes. What is the 720 minutes? The second hand, minute hand and hour hand meet after every 720 minutes. 720 minutes can also be written as 12 hours. 720 minutes can also be written as 12 hours. So second hand, minute hand, hour hand, all three of them overlap each other after every 12 hours after every 12 hours so the question that you should ask is 12 hours from when when are they first meeting first we need to find that out when are they all meeting first and then every 12 hours they're going to meet there and i think every one of us who has ever seen a watch or ever seen a clock knows that the three hands of a clock overlap each other completely at 12 o'clock right irrespective of am or pm at 12 o'clock all the three hands of a clock are together are overlapping are coinciding now if i have the question of 24 hours if i'm considering 24 hours then the all hands of the clock are going to meet twice once at 12 midnight once at 12 noon but if you look at the question given to us in the examination the duration to consider is 12 hours, 12 hour duration, right? So from 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. That is 12 hour duration. So in this 12 hour duration, they are going to meet, all the three hands of a clock are going to meet only once, only one time. What time that is that? That is 12 midnight at 12 o'clock only at 12 midnight all the three hands of a clock are going to overlap each other are going to meet each other are going to coincide each other in a 12 hour duration if the question would have been 24 hours then it would have been twice 12 midnight and 12 noon but since the question is only for 12 hour cycle the answer is how many times only one time so very interesting question asked by Gate, by IIT Kharagpur. Unfortunately, the option 1 has not been given to us. The options are 144, 11, 2 and 12. If the option 1 would have been given in any of the options, then this question would have been one of the best questions asked in general aptitude over the last few years. But because it has not been given, that makes this question fundamentally wrong. As I said, if you have given second hand in the question, you have to consider second hand in the solution also and that will change your final answer. You can't say that because minute hand and hour hand meet every 11 times, so second hand, minute hand, hour hand will also meet every 11 times. That is incorrect, right? So yes, this question has been incorrectly framed. The correct answer has not been given to us in the options. Question is wrong. It should be challenged. Again, whether the challenge will be accepted by IIT or not is totally up to them. We cannot comment anything on that, right? Uh, the reasoning that they can use for not accepting the challenge is that you know approximately they meet 11 times that's a logic or that's the reason that they can say that approximately they are meeting 11 times 
but nowhere have they mentioned approximately in the question and if we have an exact answer as one then why would I go on to approximate the answer right so yes the question is incorrect it should be challenged but whether the challenge will be accepted or not nobody knows for sure irrespective of all of that I want each one of you to know to remember the answer as one this is a question that can be asked in interview it's a very good interview question interview of UPSC IES um, MBA entrance exams college placement exams a very good question that can be asked in interview and you should be able to answer it you know just like that you should know that if I'm thinking about second minute and hour hand they meet only once in a 12 hour cycle and if I'm thinking about minute hand and hour hand then they meet 11 times in a 12 hour cycle this question is a perfect example of how important numerical solving skills are for an examination like gate most of us theoretically know that minute hand and hour hand meet 11 times in a 12 hour cycle but the minute the question has been changed a little bit the minute we have bought second hand in the question the entire solution changes the answer changes the steps involved in solving the question also changes so it's very important that we know how to approach a question how to solve a question what is the first step what is the next step and what is the reasoning what is the logic behind those steps if you are looking for a course to improve your question solving skills to improve your numerical solving skills exergic pro is the course for you not only have we covered varying levels of questions of quantitative aptitude and logical reasoning but we will be going in depth of each question what happens if a few terms are added a few terms are removed if we just tweak the question a little bit how the solution is affected and what should be your approach for questions of different levels that come in examinations like git check out our course exergic pro the link is in the description box if you found this video helpful share it with your friends subscribe to the channel like the video if you have any questions any doubts any question of gate 2022 that you want me to discuss leave it in the comment section below and i will be taking it up in the next few days thank you so much for watching i wish you all the best